an influencer, a person or thing that influences another. So today I'm gonna be inviting a hundred of your favorite influencers to ask them one simple question. How do they influence their followers? How you doing, Jenny? What's up? Oh, we got the infamous Kanye West. Oh my God, Kanye West is on this shit. What up? <laughs> Tell us what kind of content you do. I like crash different events, parties, festivals, go to different malls and just people go crazy, think it's Kanye. Jenny, you're like an <laughs> algorithm <laughs> genius. You gotta tell us like how you know this stuff, like what kind of content you do. Basically, I make like finance videos for kids. As for like what I know, honestly, it's just like obsessing. When you make so many videos, you just kind of get used to it. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't expect this many people to show up. Some people had 10,000 followers while others had millions. We had influencers from literally every single niche, from wholesome to street interviews to even Riz content. It was really cool to see everyone and what type of content they made. But there was one specific person that I noticed was getting a lot of attention. This I'm at man, it's it's no fucking way we have this fight about I just saw Miles Morales in here. That's crazy. Meet Miles Morales, aka Spider-Man NPC. If you don't know who he is, he's known to go live on TikTok to literally impersonate Miles Morales. Yes, the cartoon character from Spider-Man. And he's been going mega viral recently. But I got to learn more about who he is as a person and his backstory of how he even got started in the first place. The mindset guy, bro. What's up? Let's man? go, baby. Justin, can I say something to Miles real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say something, bro. I saw that NPC live when the security guard was trying to kick you out. Yeah, yeah. You're like, yeah. I'm just doing my thing, bro. You're starting to piss me off now. My uh, command wants to talk to you. So. Nah. Yeah. I'm going to do my own thing. You're starting to piss me off. What, so, wait, what happened? Like, I, I saw the clip and then it just like ended. Nah, so like he tried to kick me out of like the sidewalk, bro. Of, like by his property. I was by his property. And when the police came, they were like, oh, nah, nah, you're good. And then they left. And on the microphone, they were like, turn up the music, turn up the bass. <laughs> And I was like, let's fucking go, bro. <laughs> Holy crap. Yo, Kanye! Kanye West! We gotta do the Kanye and Miles Morales collab, bro. That would go crazy. I wanna collab if anybody wanna collab. Chris, I know you're out and about, but I think she's like the one food influencer in here. So tell us about that. Oh, hi, everyone. I'm Carissa. Yeah, I create food content. I'll just do reviews of like restaurants and like sometimes restaurants will reach out to do like collaborations and so forth. Keenan, how about you? I started making videos like a year and a half ago. I'm kind of in the, the kindness niche and um, I'm just trying to expand and get bigger and give back more. Who's in here, Miles? Yeah, there he is, Spider-Man yeah, NPC. Bro, you're the best NPC, honestly. Thank you, bro. One thing I realized, you know, as a creator myself, like there's like difference between people that make content and the people who like study the algorithm. Like some people like really understand like what goes viral with them. Does anyone here like actually ever think about like wider content as well? That's really the only thing I do. Like, that's all I care about. <laughs> I think What's the easiest good? thing is also like utilizing AI and like importing all data. Like everything that, I, like all the data I have, I literally have someone who like spends 40 hours a week importing data and like reading the data so we know exactly like why things go viral. Gassy LA bro, what's your name bro? What's up dude? I'm the fucking Gassy CEO, man. Gassy. Okay, what do you do bro? Dude, I'm moving back, man. I'm trying to stay out of trouble, dude. I'm trying to go viral. I'm trying to evade police. I'm trying to fucking do everything, man. Does anyone here like have a business that they run like besides content? Consulting. <laughs> but that makes sense. I own a sales and marketing company. Oh, like I do, I do like piano content. So it's like kind of you know like different. I have a course called Artist Advantage, and I show filmmakers and artists how to produce films for under 50k, how to get the money, how to get distribution, how to monetize it. Wow, Artist Kanye Advantage. West is the businessman. Oh, this is fucking Kanye. Kanye West, baby, that's the real brother. Kanye West, bro. What? <laughs> Yo, funny man. Yo, I want to be the I want to be one of the biggest creators ever, bro. I was inspired by a lot of like bigger YouTubers, man. I used to watch like KSI when I was younger, Logan Paul, and all these people, man. And I I, I want to be I want to be up there. I want to be one of the biggest entertainers, man. Oh yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Who else is in here? Um, oh, Gabe, Gabe, Gabe. Chunk. You do Riz also, right? Riz content. Yeah, I make Riz content. I was actually gonna do uh, Omegle, but yeah. I noticed there's a lot of competition there, so I just did IRL Riz and said I show you uh like a like a demonstration what I do. It goes something like um we fucking Right now. Wow, oh my, we're getting a live editing here, bro. Bravo, bro, oh my goodness. Who's next? Let me see, who else? Jake Sujinani. Guys, Jake is what, 15, 14? He's got a whole business going. Tell us about yourself, Jake. All right, yeah, so I make like online business testing side hustles content. Um, I'm 14, but I also have a course for editing and content creation. And from there, you know, I funnel those, make them great ass editors, put them in my content agency. Okay, yo, Miles Morales, bro. I know you go live all the time, bro. Do you get like a lot of gifts? I'm assuming you do, right? What's the biggest gift you've got? The biggest gift, you know, I get, I get, um, I get lines. Wow. Lines and what's the other one, man? Uh, TikTok, TikTok universes, bro. Yeah, oh. they go hard, bro. They love me, bro. I got a crazy family, bro. I got a crazy family. Wait, Cal, I swear, I just saw you put a Riz edit on. What the hell was that? I have my fake skip with my space bar, so when I'm typing, I. 
the heck? Yo, I don't think I've seen Cal's content, but it's like a bunch of Omega Riz edits. It's pretty funny, actually. And then now Omega's dead, so I'm just waiting for the new website to come out. There's a new website coming out, really? Yeah. Like us, like Rizzlers, like band together. We had like our own little group chat. So we were all like panicking. It's like, oh, we gotta move to like Omi TV. So I, I type it as like a joke. It's like, maybe you can make your own website. And they rolled with it, and now they're making one. Bro, yeah. White Boy M is in here, bro. Yes, sir, bro. What do you do for content, bro? Sub YouTube. Now I'll be doing like YouTube and stuff. Yo, we got Glover in here, bro. What's your name? What do you do, bro? I'll be live streaming and shit. We just moved a new member into the house type shit. Yo, what Wait, the so fuck? Huh? Wait, so y'all are like the TikTok live demons, bro. Yeah, type shit. Yo, 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 bro. No. My fault. Spider Man. Who said my whole yeah. government is crazy, it, bro? It's just your name on Zoom. So I just feel like I should respectfully refer to you as that. I did. Oh, bro, you're gonna have to get over. <laughs> okay, so the call did end up lasting about one and a half hours, and I wanted to cut it short, but I noticed everyone was just having a really good time and vibing with each other. So I decided, why not let it go longer? Who's like the most famous person you guys know in here? I can call Charlie Puth. I DJ for NLE Chopper. Really? He doesn't talk about how you fucking met Barack Obama. Yeah, guys, you know, I met Barack what? Obama like a long time ago. I gotta tell you this story. So like, I was at a golf course and like, there was these um these old white guys, they were talking. They were like, yo, I got my picture with Brock. Me as a little kid, I'm like, I only know one person named Brock, the president. So then I asked him, I was like, talking about Obama. And they're like, yeah, like he's here right now golfing. So I literally ran all the way across the golf course to go find him. And then obviously, you know, his secret service, there's like four or five golf carts right behind him. So they were just telling me like, oh, you gotta go back all the way to where you came from. I was kind of like, okay, you know, like whatever, you're sure. And then like, you know, I think it was an hour passed and he came back to like where originally I was. I was so nervous. I didn't even say Mr. President. I just straight up said, yo, Barack, can we get a picture, bro? And I, I got the picture. Like, I, I got to show you. I got the picture, bro. There it is, Barack Obama. That's crazy. My uncle used to smoke weed with Barack Obama in high school. Really? <laughs> you telling me a story about how he used to smoke with Barack Obama in the bushes after school and shit, or like during lunch? I've met Madison Beer and the Kid Leroy. Kid Leroy was like mad fried when I met him. I met him at Saddle Ranch. But he was like mad. He was chilling. Like, he was cool. He had the sunglasses on, whatever. I could just tell he was fried. He was really cool. And then I saw Madison Beer as well at Saddle Ranch, too. And she was like the nicest celebrity I've probably ever met. Yo, does anyone does anyone know who this person is right here? Can you guys see who this is? Is that Kim K? Who is that? Bro, that's literally me, Kim K. What the fuck? Man, you met Barack Obama and now Kim Kardashian? Bro, yeah. So Kim K used to live right next to me, bro. What? And like my mom was really good friends with her back back then. This is like I think before she even like met Kanye. We don't have contact with her anymore, but like that's like she's probably one of the biggest people I've met besides Barack Obama. I definitely felt proud that I put something like this together and it was kind of wholesome just to see people connecting with each other. It reminded me that at the end of the day, we're all human beings. Whether you're a celebrity, a millionaire, whoever, it literally does not matter. We're all equal at the end of the day, and it's always cool to see what the power of networking can do. Make sure to subscribe, and if this gets a thousand likes, I'll get Mr. Beast on the call next time. Not gonna lie, you're probably gonna have to comment his name under this, because I don't know Mr. Beast like that. But Jimmy, if you're watching this, join my call next time, okay? Anyways, see you guys.